Hello everyone, welcome back to Optimal Training Group. Um, in this video, we are going to be redesigning this page with the gallery. Now, when I first started creating that travel appli application, um, I just kind of threw this together because I wanted to get, I was kind of more focused on solutions and, you know, creating the workflows and all that. But now I want to come back and revisit this page because this is terribly ugly. So. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to use a gallery. So what I have done, I created, let me come here. I created this list and I created these thumb, you know, I added these images to it. These images are not mine. They're created by, um, AI. And by the way, I am not a designer. So that's why I had this happen. So I wanted to show you something in the gallery that, that could be helpful to you if you know, and this is for my really for beginners. So this is my gallery. Here's a, this is a SharePoint list that I created called travel homepage images. And then, um, let me show you the data types. These are the settings here. So title image, thumbnail, subtitle button label. I don't need this button label. Let me delete this. Okay. Display order. And that's it. So I, and I'll show you the display order if, if you need to use it. Um, so now in my power apps, I connect it to my list. And, um, the way you do that is you come in here, click on add, go down to connectors, share point, And then don't forget we are in a solution. So we can't come in here and pick these sites. We have to go to advanced pick your travel request and then pick the list, which was travel homepage images, which I've already done. So I'm going to cancel out. So now what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and create a new screen and make my tree view. I'm going to call it travel home page. All right. And so let's then move this up. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but I just want to move it up since it's my home page. There you go. So we are going to replace this. So I'm going to come here and let's go and add a gallery. Oops. I'm going to add a blank horizontal gallery. And let's add our data source, which is the travel homepage images. Okay. So let me do this. Now, the first thing I want to do is let me add my images and let's kind of play with those settings. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to come down here to media image. Oh, okay, good. It grabbed a thumbnail for me. So this item dot image thumbnail, which is the name of my column image thumbnail right there. So let me expand this just a little bit. So let me bring this up some. And you know, I can open it up just a little bit. You know, I can kind of play with that until it gets to a point that I like. So like that, I don't want the scroll bar. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to come down to show scroll bar. I'm going to click off. There you go. I don't need the scroll bar. Now, let's say you had many images and if you wanted to wrap it, you can wrap it. So I can do something like two wrap it, but um, and then you can kind of play with it to show the gaps and all that, you know, I can do that, but I don't want to do that. So let me go back to one. There we have it. So now what I'm going to do is I want to add my other values, column name. So not, I'm going to come here, I'm going to select it, come in here and let's add a label. And as you can see, this label just grabs the title. So I, it's grabbing the title. So now I'm going to add my subtitle as well. Uh, 
I can expand this the length of that um, square of that cell and I can just center it and I can bold it if I want to there you go and I can even add a little background color to it if I need to so you know come here and I can do something like this you know make it a little stylish if you need to and so just a little bit okay okay and now I'm gonna come back in here I want to add another one text label oh good okay see so it grabbed the next one that subtitle for me so now I can do this the length and I can do this and I can maybe say semi bold all right and I can even add a little color to it as well so let me come down here let's add something schnazzy uh, yeah, so you can play with that then I can do something like change the text to white and I can increase this a little bit so it can be readable okay so look at that so now this is it's looking much much better than it was before and let me come to my tree view and I can come over here and I can just grab this just copy this now don't forget I'm not a designer so if this is looking still ugly to you I'm not a designer but I mean it looks decent to me I mean there's too much white space so you know there's probably a lot you can do but I just wanted to show you how this works so as you can see I'm grabbing the values from my list and I'm creating this gallery here and this is gonna be my page so now let's go and add our links now you're probably wondering okay how am I gonna add my links because each of these are you know I can't I can only se select this first one so here's what we're gonna do so we can select we can either make this on select or this we can or both which is fine and then come over here to on select and let's do an if statement so based on what it is we're going to let me see we're going to navigate it to the right place so this is our request form so this is the new form this is our approver page in our list so let's come here so let's select this select this so we're gonna say if oops let me no I didn't mean to do that ah let's go back to our on select on select come here and we're gonna say if um this item dot title is equal to new request let's navigate let's navigate to request form and we can probably even use a switch statement in fact you know what let's go ahead and use a switch statement instead of is if statement the if will get a kind of a little bit messy so let's do this switch to a switch switch and we're, oops, oops, oops 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 ah we're gonna be so switch let's evaluate our title instead of attachment dot title okay and then we're gonna say new request then navigate where is it navigate to request form all right close that 
and then we're gonna say comma and then if it nav if it evaluates to my request let's navigate to oops you know what I don't even think I have a my request page let's let it go to approve a page for now so let's say um what's this travel request list yeah I thought I had a okay I guess I didn't okay I thought I had one all right uh All right, so let's say Okay. All right. And then All right. And let's say comma. And let's evaluate the next thing, which is if it's admin approvals really that's going to be navigate uh, travel request list so we're going to be going there twice um, and I'll fix the my approval later maybe in another video okay and then the last one is my approvals navigate and I don't have one for that either so let's let it all let's go to let's just say approver page just so you all can see how this works approver page okay and then close that off and let me fix this and let's format this so that you can see what's going on format all right so instead of an if statement I use a switch it's going to be checking this item that title and if this item that title is new request navigate here if it's my request navigate here if it's admin approvals navigate here if it's navig if it's my approvals navigate here so let's go run this so if I click here look at that let me go back to home oops my home is not working let's fix that really quick okay let's try that again if I click here it comes there and come back here and if I click admin approvals it goes there and if I click my approvals it comes here which is nothing so I'm gonna fix this all this up in another video like I said in my when I was create my travel request application this is just it's gonna be a lot of fixes not fixes but it's gonna it's a continuous um, process of improving this so um, I hope that made sense let me fix one more thing so as you can see when we hover over this it doesn't show you know it still has the arrow it doesn't give me the indication that I'm that this is actually selectable or this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come let's take care of that let's do insert let's go to icon I'm just gonna come over here let's see let's do this message thing here and do this I'm just gonna expand this like this and I'm going to come over here and make it 
transparent. Oh, wait a second. Right here. Transparent. And once I do that, I'm going to click on the on select. Let me move this out the way real quick. I'm just going to copy this code here. Copy. Put that back. Paste. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's why. It has to be a part of the gallery, not outside the gallery, because that was outside the gallery. So that's why it wasn't working. So come come in here. And I'm going to do that again. Let's come back over here and let's add that icon again. And it could really be any of these. Let me do this. So do that, and I'm gonna come over here and say transparent, and I'm gonna come here, paste that in there. As you can see, no errors because it's within the gallery. And you know, I should probably do the same here too. Oh, but I need to be in the gallery, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna add another one Let's add this. Okay. Let's make it transparent. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Let's make that transparent. There we go, and then add the same thing in here. And let's give it a, so as you can see, see the hand, and that's what we want. All right. Yep, and it's for the same for all of them. There you go. All right. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Please give this video a like and a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. And if you have any questions, please leave your comments in the comment bar. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye.